All right, we are back with more Earthbound. Right here on Let's Play with Brigands. With these little green guys. Flailing the little limbs about. Hey, guys. We're shy. That's cool. We're shy. All right. Still cool. Shy. That we are. All right, Yoda. There's only one tender who's not shy. It's me, bubby. <laughs> Does like a whole dance routine. You know what? Does some five hours of karaoke. You are not shy. There's something scary that comes from the underground. So we covered up the hole. There are lots of dinosaurs there. I went there once, but I came right back because I was so surprised. There's a talking stone that talks a lot. Do you want to go and see? I understand. I'm not as strong as I look. I'm sorry. I guess I can't help you. The guy next to me is strong, but he likes conversation skills. He needs to overcome his shyness first. And on the, any other game, I would be like, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. But in Earthbound, it makes sense. All right, buddy, I'll figure out how to get you uh, to not be shy. I don't know. Let's enjoy these hot springs, though. Heck yeah. Ooh, butterfly. So we're in the Tenda village. These are little Tendas. Rumor, I heard a book to fix shyness there is. Where? Don't know, just a rumor. Hmm. So we gotta find a book to fix their shyness. Or that one specifically, shyness. Did I already check this trash can? Just plain old garbage. Fair enough. Not died to everybody? Is that it? Who now? Oh, it's not dead. Apple Kid, all right. Wait, who do I hate? Apple Kid or Orange Kid? I forget which one fleeced me. Beautiful weather here. I'm now at Dr. Andonot's lab in winter. The doctor doesn't seem to be around right now, but I'm just working on my eraser eraser machine. <laughs> Nothing redundant about that. Apple Kid? Apple Kid! <gasps> Getting a lot of calls right now, all right? Ness, I haven't talked with you in ages. Orange Kid, <gasps> I hate Orange Kid. Finally come to near of our end of research on how to change a boiled egg back. <laughs> yeah, I took my investment and just wasted it on this crap. Apple Kid is missing. He left here saying that he was going to see Dr. Anonymous in Winters and he never came back. So hoping to borrow the book Overcoming Shyness from him. Well, that's handy. <laughs> so we're not very good at talking. Man, I hate Orange Kid. Not like... Not as much as I hate he who remains nameless, but... I really do hate that kid. All right, so we got a teleport. Let's use some of Pooh's teleportation. He's got the level two. I think this one lets us uh, require less runway. Yeah, that's the only way to teleport. Never teleporting the other way again. Kyo Kaka Kika. Yeah. Tessie. As long as that's all they're doing. Man, the monkey community is much more sophisticated than I gave it credit for. Just, just that. Uh, Mr. Saturn font in the chat. That's impressive. Where you get Mr. Saturn font from? Jeff, long time no see. Got taller. Not in chat right now. Tony's missing. Now he's right here. What are you talking about? Oh, I forgot about Tony. I like the winter music. Of course, then it ends. Anything new they're selling here? T 
T-Rex is bad. What's he rocking right now? What are you rocking? Big League bat. Okay. I guess it's not as good. The T-Rex bat is not quite as good. Grab the pencil eraser. Oh, get it back. Ah, uh, I see what you mean. I should call the, uh, the delivery people. Good call. Big bro! No, I, 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 no, I need, no, I, well, I might need that. What have I got? Anyone know what I can get rid of? Can I, can I get rid of my monkey's love right now? <laughs> Do I need the monkey's love? Man, Jeff's got a lot of cool stuff. That broken cannon should go to uh, Jeff, obviously. Oh, Jeff's all full up on everything. Crusher beam versus the death ray. That's the question. Let's see. Death ray, crusher beam. Ah, oh, we can get rid of the crusher beam. Maybe I should sell the crusher beam. Death ray seems good, right? Sell the crusher beam. Then I give that broken thing. Sure. Get rid of the monkey's love. We can't buy the monkey's love. Can't buy monkey's love. Couldn't help myself, I apologize. All right, so now let's give that broken cannon to Jeffy. So he can fix that right up. Anyone have any other broken stuff? Oh, we do have a pencil eraser. I already have a pencil eraser, so it's a moot point. But we can get rid of the monkey's love. And if there's anything else that you see that we should get rid of... Man, Paul is sitting on a lot of broken stuff. Hmm. Man, Jeff is, like, armed to the teeth. I love it. I can't wait to fight a boss. All those bottle rockets. Multi and big. I'm wondering if we should, like, hand some stuff over to Pooh for a little bit. Or store some stuff so we can give the broken crap to uh, Jeff. Okay, so let's check on his IQ. He's the fix-it man. His IQ is 60. So that's well above 50. I think 50 was like some sort of cutoff, and that's pretty good. But I will let more knowledgeable folks uh, direct me accordingly. All right. Yeah. All right, let's give him... Take the monkey's love. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> um... All right, so Jeff will repair the broken cannon to give himself a new weapon. The broken pipe and the broken laser, so maybe those are things he can fix, but they won't be as nearly effective as that broken cannon, so maybe we're not going to, like, sweat those as much. I don't know that we need the key to the tower right now, right? Uh, and... Uh, uh, what else? Might have him take, just for now, take one of those bottle rockets. We can always get those back. Probably could have given the poo, but, like, we're not gonna need that many in, like, one single battle. Okay. Phone, so let's head back in and let's uh, get a delivery now. Huh? 
And now let's just go over what we need to, uh, what we have stored that we can maybe get back. Ah, oh, I see. Different pages. Ah, nostalgia. Look at all these things we gave away earlier. I don't see a shield sucker, though. I guess we're alright. Alright, so we need to, like, rest, and maybe Jeff will fix that with his amazing level 60 IQ, perhaps. Am I in the mood to fight anything right now? Quit, like, Avoid any conflict? No. Yeah. Instant victory? I guess because the other one jumped on. Lesser Mook and its cohort. Let's fire the one that hits the row, yeah. What'd she get? 79? Anything with a whirling robo. Probably more of a lightning attack. Okay. Just smack him down. Set connects up there. Crash in here, perhaps. Said there are many monsters I've never seen before. I wonder what's happening. I see a bed. Uh, it sounds kind of creepy, but I'm gonna take that on face value. Yes, I will have some tea. All right, Jeff, do your thing, buddy. Or not. Is it random? He's definitely smart enough. Alright, more of these guys. Y'all ready for this? I keep hearing that. Jock Janny. A spoon. I guess staying and having tea are not the same as sleeping. It's my bad. Seems like a good place to sleep, but... What? Oh yeah, remember that? That's how we traveled before. We shun such primitive travel now. Now we just teleport. But you do, you little monkey. Well, no, I, I didn't want to... Uh, okay. Yeah.
Poots. Very unhappy with that ride we just had. Tessie. Tessie she was. I guess that's the way we're going. Yep, that's the way we're going. Let's see if we scroll off anybody. Nope. Can't help but wonder if, like, somebody else didn't get in on that battle, if we could, like, take them down without even having to fight. If we're that OP. That guy just said, nah, I'm good. Oh, we already went through it here. We have our eraser. Nice. You're not gonna give me like a thousand experience, are you? Or like a million experience? Eh. Eh. It's not like awful. What do we get from that? 2089. It's worth it to run into these guys just to get it. Huh. I actually do have to fight you. That's weird. Yeah. What? What? Why do we have to go through that? process. He was not looking. He snuck up on you, buddy. No battle necessary. Nice. I love leveling up from no, not having to actually fight. That's a good level up, too. He's running. You can at least turn and fight me. If you know you're gonna die either way, you might as well at least make it inconvenient for us. Ah, gave him the idea. Nice whack on that strong crocodile or smack. Mighty Bear 7 and Cave Boy! Shout it, man. Wow, that's a lot of defense. Yeah, I was gonna say, I feel like these guys are well below us. Hell yeah, Jeff. Ness didn't even make contact. One damage. Yeah. Right. Sando nuts. Nuts. Kids don't look very bright. I love that. Stonehenge. UFOs often visit here. TV and red about tabloids. That's Stonehenge. Yeah, okay. I'm just looking for. Here it is. Jeez. Alright, where's Apple Kid? I've been waiting for you. My master Apple Kid. This eraser, eraser. There we go. It's alright, buddy. Now we got the eraser, eraser. Booga booga, may I help you? Walk up. 
Ongawa, what would you like? What have you got? Cup of coffee, secret herb, fresh air. Doesn't have anything I want. Instant revitalizing device. Nice. But let me guess, Jeff doesn't fix anything. Yeah. I keep finding excuses not to let Jeff fix anything. Okay. We don't need you now, but so now we want to use our eraser, eraser, Stonehenge. All right, let's clear out all. The oh, oh. Okay. All right. Wait. Oh, uh, there. Yeah. Okay, I remember this. Eraser, eraser, Nessa's got it. Thanks, Apple Kid. Heck yeah. Huh. It's warped in. We got Starman. We already fought Starman before, and I probably already referenced the Jeff Bridges thing. Fire beam. No challenge there, that's good. That's not bad, 5800. How about that IQ? That's all I want to care know about. IQ plus one. 61 IQ on Jeff. What a waste of a turn, Starman. And you're about to find out why. Heck yeah, Jeff. That's even before he fixes that cannon, too. <sighs> the cohort got in on it. We've seen Starman. Mook Senior. I like that. Not any more challenging. Let's check this package. What do we got? Spicy jerky. Delicious. And that thing got in, right? Whatever. Might see we're still at a decent level. No one around here has been stepping to us too bad. 11,000. Tasty. She got the Omega Fire. Brilliant. All right, it's just him. Yep. Suspicious, uh, suspicion confirmed. 1500 for doing nothing. I love that. I'll take that all day. There's a gold version of the Starman called Starman Super, the most who's, I guess, who's best weapon. So one in 256 chance of actually hitting. Let's 
some good damage. Yeah, he's killing a lot of my team. Good for you. Random dude. Guess we gotta head back and use that revitalizing machine. Let's get everybody back up to ship shape. Hell out of here. Uh, we're gonna need a lot more than, uh, probably for Ness when it needs the max one. Oh, there's just a chest here. What is that? Guts capsule. Hell yeah. We got on us. Horn of life. We have more than one of those. A couple of life moves. Let's just pound these. I don't feel like waiting until we get to a hospital. Yes, yes please, the butterfly. power robot yet. We're going for Mook Senior. Just glaring at us, telling us to get off this lawn. Things were better in the 80s. Yeah, now it's getting good. Uh-oh. Yeah, it is. He's exploding. Good thing we have that trick. <laughs> what do we get? 12,000. Alright. You wanna, Poop, you wanna take care of everybody here? Maxed out. Uh, you might need a max. Jeff might be okay. Let's use basic on Jeff. The track is called Kraken of the Sea. Oh, I love that that. Starman just teleported past me. Ah, you got poo. Poo in the back. <sighs> Poo's offense is coming along nicely. Do you say so myself? Have you got Level 3 Thunder. Let me give Paula a simple life up. What? How? Jeff was staring right at that thing. Whatever. saw that happen. Big deal. Level 69. Didn't get much of a boost for level 69. Who's up? Two star men. We like these guys to zap by us. There we go. Still relatively linear, I have to say. Most of this area. The robot doesn't seem to be concerned about Starman. Just wants to heal himself, right? Ah, never mind. I'm 
misspoke. <laughs> Enough. I guess if Ness had just hit him. Alright, that works. I was waiting for a smack. I love that the smack came in right after. Hate that explosion. All right, let's make sure everybody's tip top since all these guys are exploding at an alarming rate. Who as well? Just you, right? That guy gone. He must have snuck in. Alright, let's see if we can put down Starman before that robot heals him. Awesome. Alright. Yeah. Whoever missed could have actually landed. The robot would be dead. Is there any way to avoid that? <laughs> it's annoying. Fortunately, we have tons of PP. I don't really know where Paul is. What's Paula's max these days? Two seven. Oh, that is her max. Wow. Starman must have just appeared in here. One Starman, come on. I don't know why our damage is so low. But so that was even before he was guarding. Heck yeah, Jeff. Come on, see that IQ. No, you didn't get any smarter after that. Uh, which way has a present? That's what I want to know. Eh, you know what, I don't really care. Probably not worth it. Oh, I don't like that he comes down here. Oh, come on, I'm in the doorway, man. Hi, TC. Ah, oh, it's a gold star, a Starman Super. Can you say this guy gives us something awesome? Maybe we should prioritize. He's not gonna, like, run away, is he? Paul, why don't you do some, like, crazy stuff? Use your crazy thunder and let's see who you hit. Ah! Son of a... He's got a two? Nice hit. Very nice hit. I like... <laughs> I feel like we should both try to heal her. <laughs> Just to get a chance of getting her uh, healed up before he gets the movement. Spy on him, see if he has a sword. 112. Hmm, I didn't tell me anything. Well, he's defeated. <sighs> Nothing. So it's a very low, small chance that we would have gotten something cool from him, but. 
Oh, how does that count as a sneak up? Oh, there's another Starman Super. Eh. Nice. Heck yeah, Paula. Ah. Nuts. Less than 1% chance of getting a sword. Okay. I'm with you now. See, so yeah, if I want to, to grind here. Broken harmonica. Interesting. Remember to give that to our buddy. Did I miss something? Hey, maybe we'll get the sword. It'll be the Charlie Bucket of Earthbound. It's very good experience, if nothing else. Like, like if I felt like grinding, this would be a good place to do it. All right, so I don't want to grind anymore. Um, oh, baby, IQ, vitality, oh, nice, thirty-seven. Very nice. Not trying to fight these guys. Uh, I feel like we need. I feel like we need our life up just to fight this guy. Because you never know what he's going to throw at us when he explodes. Uh, hope no one comes. Alright, you should be dead at least. No one's touched you yet, buddy. Mortal damage. Oh my god. Jeez. Alright, this is testing our PP limits. That's a good tip on the sneakiness. Does Pooh need anything? Alright, he needed a bit. Is this a dead end? so slow because we get that attack and after he heals there we go what if we got the sword from that too it'd be amazing Uh, I need that. Oh, wait, what? What? 
How does that? I'm not gonna complain about it. Come here. There we go. Need it that. All right. Got here. PSI caramel. I need that actually. That doesn't count as a surprise for some reason. Never got a butterfly here? Hey, I'd settle for that sword right now. IQ by three, that's what we're talking about. Wow, what is his IQ now, like 65 or something? 64. Awesome. Mm, bit of honey. Guys, please take my son along. He may look like a regular small mouse, but he can lead you to an exit if you're lost in a maze. Didn't you leave my son with someone? Oh, do I get to come along too? Trumpet, man, you're gonna have so many things to fix when we crash. Can I just like sleep over and over again at an inn and get him to fix this stuff? Pixie's bracelet, hmm, might need to look into this Pixie's bracelet. Better defense, we should give this to Paula. Cause she's so weak. Here, give this. To Jeff, and give him the broken trumpet as well. Not a euphemism, here you go buddy. Now we can give that pixie bracelet. Dude, Paula. She seems to be the wink link. Nice. Everything else pretty good with her. That's all we got. Alright. Okay. It's like, uh, I saw Mr. T in there. What's up to the top? Ah. Gold star man. Kill him. <gasps> Sword of Kings we got. That's the thing, right? Are we stoked about that? Is that what we want? Is that amazing? Is everyone crabbing themselves in the... Is that like finding Warmack on the bridge in Final Fantasy 1? I'm waiting for the, the comments to come in right now. Score! <laughs> so we're giving this to Jeff? Or who, who gets the Sword of Kings?
<laughs> Give the eraser eraser to buy a lot of ticket. <laughs> Apparently, yeah, we are lucky if we got that Sword of Kings. I'm just falling ass backwards into good fortune in this game. So who uses the Sword of Kings? Everyone watching this is like, oh dude, you don't deserve this. So he can't use it. Because there was any doubt that I've never played this before. I'm like, who uses the Sword of Kings? Alright. So this sends Pooh up by 30. Is Pooh the one who's using this thing? That's pretty good, right? Jeff can't use this, right? Let's just make sure. Yeah, no, this is a poo weapon, I guess. Alright. Here you go, poo. I guess poo has other stuff you can use too, it's just like really specific. Like rain pennant, like all this stuff just messes him up, but I'm pretty sure he does have like one set of stuff. Glad I made the decision to turn around and come back in here and get this present. A speed capsule. We should get this to Ness because he's always the slow man in these battles. He's always the last one to take a turn. Ness strength, speed capsule, his speed went up by one. Alright, I'll take it. Can you guys, like, be there. We did scroll one away. That's something. Alright. A military octobot. Let's see Pooh take a swing with his sword O King. Hell yeah, Ness. Look at that. He got to go a lot sooner. Totally scrapped. Sorry, Pooh. Pooh only has four piece of equipment. They're all called something of kings. No problem here. I don't know. Tell that to the guy stuck in the test tubes. You got a Mr. Saturn and a Mr. T. And that creepy guy. Oh, man. Even Dr. Wiley. Oh, they got Dr. Wiley? Now you've gone too far. When you start messing with other properties. Alright, this guy looks serious. We should probably heal up. I know Ness goes into the 500s. <clears throat> Use those bottle rockets. Don't have to tell me twice. We're stronger than our intelligence indicated. We're not be prepared for that eventuality. Prophecy from the click apple of enlightenment may be true, but you must not we're underestimate us. Alright, boss throwdown time. The Starman Deluxe. It's fancy. Alright, all our best stuff now, I guess. Well, Ness's best move is always just straight up whacking people. Bashing and smashing. She can finally use some of her PP, so let's go all out on this, uh, the ice. Alright, Jeff. Let's bust out a big rocket. Well, let's use a multi-rocket. As per Matthew's recommendation. And let's see that Sword of Kings, Pooh. This should be a fun four turns for us. 
Oh, that's not good. Oh, no. That's very bad. Holy hell. <laughs> he killed him before Paula died. Hell yeah, Jeff. And Pooh's like, but I got this awesome sword, guys. Just let me swing it. That's amazing. I love it. <laughs> yeah, Matt called it all right. When you defeated the Starman Deluxe, the Stonehenge base ceased functioning. Huh. No problem here. Here's everybody. I'm scared, but I knew I'd be saved if I courageously just sat here and waited long enough. <laughs> you got it, man. Hi, Mr. Saturn. Kidnapped happy. Rescued. I give you ribbon. Oh, hell yeah. Saturn ribbon. We gotta get this to Paula right now, right? Probably. here at the bottom. Talisman ribbon. So at 143 goes to 173. Yes, Paula needs that desperately. She just has a nasty habit of dying. So what did she have? She had the talisman ribbon. Lucky coin. Lucky coin or talisman ribbon. We should like compare these. I don't know if they can use that or not, but worth a look, right? why I always load up Jeff with multi-bottle rockets. Too true, man. That saved Paula's life. So he can't wear the ribbon. Alright. We'll just sell it. Awesome. I expected there to be about 7% chance he would rescue me. So it was a good opportunity to meet Mr. Saturn. I also got to meet Dr. Andonuts. See you. Oh, yeah, yes, I am. The Onet Library, okay. Oh, uh, there's Apple Kid, I guess, right? Uh -huh. He's a very forgettable face. Phase Distorter. Yes, I do. Jeff, Jeff, oh, it's Tony. <laughs> I'm Jeff's best friend. I don't know, I think we're all his best friends now, T-Dog. Let's kidnap all milk and a cat on my farm. No one ever does, Mr. T. It's the happiest moment of my life. No matter what happens, I will live, live, live 10,000 years. Thanks for all that you've done. Nice. Alright. Can I like... Did I get back that exit mouse? The mom talked about? I guess I did. Alright. I got my own exit mouse. As long as there's no dudes here. That's all I care about. Look, now we can walk freely through here and grab any items we may have missed. It's a good thing. Good thing we got that sword, because all the enemies are gone now. I guess we should heal up Paula. go get that package now, too, that we ignored before. Cup of life noodles. Nice. So we got back 50% of the cups that we burned through in this place. 
That's good. Huh. Take that butterfly. Going in circles here. I think this is it. Yep. Okay. Ah. Oh. Welcome back. Is Pooh gonna get to attack? Wow. Paul has had enough of this. <laughs> All right. Let's take a break here. I didn't mean to go in there. Let's take a break here, and we will, what? We'll go back to the library at Onet, and we will get the Shy book from the library. Maybe we'll even try to uh, rest a bit and see what Jeff can fix. And, uh, yeah, should be good. Looking forward to it. We're starting to rock out here on Earthbound. Here as we head into the final stretch. See you in the next one.